So for the last two months, we have been doing this epic road trip all around Turkey. We've driven about 4,500 kilometers, circling around, going as far east as Mardin, making it all the way down to Antakya, driving along the coast and back up to Izmir where we started. And one of the things that surprises me the most about our trip in Turkey is that every single city and region in Turkey has very different and diverse food and unique foods to that area. So so as we've been going around Turkey, trying out the food in each city, everyone keeps telling us to come to Izmir. So today, we finally get to go and try out all the great food in Izmir. Are you ready to eat some good food? Yeah. Hey, what is this? What do we have? This is boyoz. I don't know how to pronounce it. B-O-Y-O-Z. Okay. You don't know what it's made out of? It's the thing to get. I don't know. <laughs> so straight away, I might have done the least amount of research for this food tour as possible because I just put out a call on Instagram of what should we eat, and then I copied everything that everybody said, and we we're gonna eat it all. I, I should do more research on what these things are, but I'll Google it on the way. Is there anything chocolate? All right. There so is something like chocolate. An, eat it, and then you'll tell me what it is? Basically. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> it's a pastry. I don't taste anything inside, it just tastes like, like a croissant. So after a quick Google search, um, Boyos, Boyos, I think that's how it's pronounced, um, is particularly famous in Izmir. It's uh, borrowed from Jewish heritage, but it seems to be the only place where it's kind of like commercially available via the original recipe. And apparently, traditionally, it's eaten for breakfast alongside a hard-boiled egg. It's basically, I mean, there's a variety of different types, but it's kind of a plain flaky pastry, and it does go really good with, uh, for breakfast. Need a chai to go with it, though. Somebody's impatient. <laughs> Chocolate. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, a little something on your face there. <laughs> Chloe, how was the pastry? Good. <laughs> it's a little windy today. What's this? I don't even know what it's called. It was just, it had chocolate in it, so I bought it. Chocolate. <laughs> Something with chocolate. You know, I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness. Is it Nutella or just chocolate? It's, it's like warm chocolate. Chocolate, it tastes like really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't give me I don't know if I'm gonna share that. Don't give me warm hugs. <laughs> don't give me warm hugs. <laughs> It's very cold. Kind of a windy, chilly day today. <laughs> the weather's crazy. <laughs> but it's our last day, so we're trying to make the most of it. Got a long list of food to eat. I'm gonna go for mine. What is that? <laughs> uh, Izmir Bomba. Oh. So this is apparently a cookie filled with Nutella. What else? Is that it? That, yep. I mean, is that it? It's famous here <laughs> in Izmir. <laughs> It's amazing. Are you gonna try it? Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. That's that's the bomba part. <laughs> it's supposed to be like an explosion of Nutella. It looks like it. Oh my goodness, it looks delicious. Good thing they gave us some limes. These are gonna be necessary, I think. Is that a good way to start the day? <laughs> so when I put out that Instagram request for what should we eat in Izmir, I must have gotten 50 plus responses for Izmir Bomba. It seems to be the most iconic pastry treat dessert here in Izmir. And I'm excited to try it. You can tell I like it. It's basically like, it looks like plain dough wrapped in a giant Nutella cookie. <laughs> and it basically kind of explodes in your mouth with Nutella. That's a lot of Nutella. Chloe, look at Daddy. <laughs> your face. Your, your face. face. <laughs> We're gonna need some serious teeth brushing after this. Don't get it in your hair. <laughs> It does feel like a bomb. That's like the perfect name for it. But <laughs> mm. tell a bomb. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm apparently not experienced enough to handle this. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
<laughs> it exploded all over you. <laughs> it really did. It should be called a new telebomb. <laughs> We're good though. Uh, don't make a mess, okay? It's really windy, so I don't know if you can hear me, but just walking on the street, this is kind of my first impression of Izmir. Uh, we just got in yesterday and haven't done any exploring, and this is really cool. I think this is a really cool city, and I'm really Very enjoying... Modern. Yeah, it's really modern, and I'm really enjoying kind of a different feel here in Izmir. There's definitely a lot of coffee shops, that's for sure. Yeah, which we've kind of missed. Yeah. <laughs> Oysters with me? No. <laughs> just one? No. I don't know how to eat this. I crack it. Let me just say first, I do not like seafood, so Brady, <laughs> this is all you. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe the last like seaweed too. Are you gonna try it? Another thing I can't Honestly, I have no idea how to eat, eat this or what it tastes like. This is midget dolma, which I believe is a stuffed mussel. What it's stuffed with, I don't know. I'm assuming you squirt a little bit of this on it. I have, I have no idea. I feel like there's a lot of people watching here right now. <laughs> How is it? Is it good? It is good. Slimy yet satisfying? No, I think this is, it tastes like it's stuffed with rice. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> it's really good. Is it good? Is it chewy? No. Like, I'm is really it surprised. fishy? Slightly, but not really. I, re I really like it. Good, I'm glad you like it. I don't it. think that I would like it without the stuffing, but... Yeah, with the rice and everything? Yeah. That's good. I don't think so. I'm trying to convince Heather to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Eat it. <laughs> no. Try it. <laughs> I just like, it's really hard for me to, like, eat things that you can see that like they were just alive and that's what they looked like and now I'm supposed to eat them. <laughs> I just have an issue with it. <laughs> you don't have to. I can't do it. <laughs> Alright, this next one is Coco Rech. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and this is an iconic sandwich here in Izmir. It is cooked on a horizontal rotisserie instead of the vertical ones. And this is just what you're supposed to eat in this here, so we're gonna try it. Mm, the bread looks like really nice and soft. Good. Good, huh? Yeah. I don't let you eat it unless it's chicken. Okay, I'll let you like it. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. You can do it. Tell me how much you don't like yep. it. And then squirt a little lemon on it. Okay. And then you I don't know if I can do it. Okay. And Just then you scoop it. it up with the other half. Yep, you scoop it up with the other half. I watched that, but I don't want to eat it. Yeah, watch. <laughs> now, try not to eat it. I can't do it. It's stuck on the shelf. Why were you so brave to try scorpion, but now you're too afraid to try mussels? Um, I was with the scorpion. I like the head. Chloe's asking for another bite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> wow. Go, mommy, go. Go, go mommy, mommy, go. Go, go mommy, go. Go, mommy, go. Go, mommy, go. Tastes a little bit like seaweed. Go, 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 go. But it's good. <laughs> I think it likes <laughs> Would you like another one? No, it creeps me off, but it was tasty. <laughs> Really what do you think now? You're the closest. You're done to this place. Alexa did it. <laughs> Sometimes we have coffee conversations and then realize we need to share it. So this is something that's been weighing on my mind for a long time and bothering me that we haven't been talking about it. And then we just had this conversation and I said, stop, we have to grab the camera. <laughs> So we, we were talking about how, you know, we don't want to be a part of the problem of people having this like Instagram reality of like, 
looking at other people's lives and thinking they must be so magical comparing your own life to that and and when you when you look at social media social media is nothing but a curated highlight reel that is so perfectly edited and you miss out on everything bad and the problem is is that you have as a viewer as a consumer mm -hmm. of that you have this skewed perspective of oh their life must be so perfect and i don't measure up when i mm -hmm. compare myself to them i don't measure up I feel that way a lot as I scroll certain platforms and certain people and she read something yeah so, so so I was just on Instagram yesterday and I saw someone post there's like water and beautiful like Instagram kind of v picture and then the caption was like I regret traveling full-time in quotes said no one ever and it made me really upset because like the reality is I do regret it sometimes like it's so hard and like it's worth it but you don't see in that like not seeing your family and like not having a church you can go to every week and not having friends and not having your kids be able to have play dates and like it's really hard it's really hard and you know we love traveling obviously we sold everything and left our family and friends so that we could explore as much of the world as possible and that's our passion but like it is so hard it's hard to share that because it's hard enough for people to understand why we're doing this the natural reaction so is like, well then just go home yeah no like, that's not, not the that, answer it's not that simple we both love what we do yeah. so much so and are much. so thankful and grateful that yes. we get to do it but it, it's i guess it's just impossible to know how hard it is unless you're living it yeah. um the amount of time it takes to plan things out to how exhausting it is the travel aspect travel can be so magical and so awesome and also so miserable at yeah. times it's not as simple as we'll just go home no because we would rather do this than anything else yeah. and and life is is hard you know like yeah. there is no one doing any job in any circumstance that like their life could appear to be perfect, but it's not. You know, every thing comes with its own set of struggles. I know there are people that dream of doing what we're doing. We used to be those people because we this is a new thing for us. And the reality is, like, it is worth it. It's worth it for us Just to do this. Just the freedom of it. It's not, I mean... It's definitely not for everyone, um, so I think yeah. maybe even setting that expectation, um, if someone else is thinking about it, but it is it is worth it for us. Like we are happy that we're doing this, and we were just having a conversation with Alexa today. What would you rather do? Like, would you rather go to this next country that's on our list, or would you rather go back to Ohio? And her answer was both. Both. And, and that's exactly that's how exactly we feel. How we feel, like. We feel conflicted of like our heart is half there yeah. and half wanting to go home. I don't know. I, I just think that it's been on my mind for a while now of I really don't want to contribute mm -hmm. to that Instagram, the lie. YouTube lie mm -hmm. of your life is perfect and you'll never measure up because um, I know how much that affects me yep. and I don't want it to affect anyone else from how we are curating things. And I wish, I wish we could capture and edit what we're doing in a different way, perhaps to help fix that and show some of the struggles, but it's not fair to our kids. Yeah. Because they're five and seven, and they're going to fight, they're going to complain, we're gonna get mad at them. Yeah. And I admire some YouTubers who kind of show some of that struggle, but I'm not going to e expose our kids to that level of scrutiny uh, because they're kids. Like, I'm fine, I think, and I don't know if you agree with this, but like, it's one thing for us to show our imperfections. Yes, I'm fine doing that. Um, it's different to do that to your children. Yeah. 
yeah. but the reality is their imperfections affect us yeah. <laughs> because we're all human people that typically spend way too much time together in teeny little apartments and it's really hard and and that's something that no matter where you are in the world no matter what what your life looks like if you are a parent parenting is hard it is hard it is so hard none of this is to say that we aren't grateful we are tremendously we are so, grateful for yeah. what what we get to do you know we're still really new at traveling full time we're still learning so much uh, making a lot of mistakes along the way and I do just want to say that our time in Turkey has been fantastic and we have been so blown away by the way we have been received by the people the beauty of this country it has been magical the the hard parts have been just normal life stuff that everyone goes through and deals with and we've been blessed enough to experience that in such a beautiful place like Turkey. If you've noticed our energy waning mm -hmm. in the last couple of weeks, it's because we are tired. I think that we we push a little too hard. We get really excited. It is so rude that they're honking their horn while I I'm trying know, to talk. I know, I know. Man, so rude. Um, we, we were so excited to mm -hmm. uh, show how amazing Turkey is that we just kept on adding more locations, more locations, and, and shortening the travel time in between it. And We're like, oh, we only need two days here. Oh, we only need one day here. <laughs> I think we just, we, I was so excited to, mm -hmm. to hopefully, I don't know, show people and get people to travel to Turkey. Yeah. Like that was a, a big goal of mine. Um, and it's been awesome to see in the comments that people are now booking tickets to Turkey after yeah. watching our videos. Like that's just, it makes me that's so awesome. pumped. Um, but I think we pursued that goal a little too hard yeah. and we poured a little bit too much of ourselves out and we need, we need a break. Um, so we do have um, a little bit of a break and then we are kicking off just an awesome series after that that I'm super pumped about. Um, and I hope that, I hope that you'll stick around and check it out. Like it's going to be incredible. So tomorrow we are going to pack up. This is actually our last day in Turkey, our last full day in Turkey. Tomorrow we're going to pack up and head to our next location. We're going to start our next series, which we're super excited about.